Ruski Ed here, with a lesson about various body parts. Attempt to translate these sample sentences before the end of the intro song. If you want to learn Russian, but your time's not a button, now the books you'll see are way too redundant. Then sit yourself down, get ready to go. Stay tuned, cause it's time for the Ruski Ed show. There are a lot of body parts, and although many of them have been covered in past lessons, there always seem to be more, and so let's get started with sample sentence number one. She trimmed her fingernails. The focus word here is nagats, and nagats means nail of the toe or finger. Also, the word for trim is postrigats for your information. Throwing these words together into a sentence, we get ana postrigla nati. By the way, we could also include svoi in this sentence if we want to, like this ana postrigla svoi nati. The second sample sentence goes like this. He injured his hip. The important words for this sentence are povredits, which means to injure, to harm, to hurt, or to damage, and bedro, which means hip. Along with the word for he, the translation goes like this. On povredil bedro. Again, we can throw in a svoy, svoya, svoyo, or svoy, but it is quite unnecessary. In this case, svoyo would fit into the sentence, and the resulting sentence would go like this. On povredil svoyo bedro. Now for sample sentence number three. He has a tattoo near his elbow. The focus word here is lokats, and lokats means elbow. The word for tattoo is tattoo irovka, by the way. Along with a couple other words, the translation goes like this. Univo tattoo irovka vasli lokia. Moving on now to sample sentence number four. Her shoulders were sunburned. Two words we need for this sentence include plecho, which means shoulder, and zagorets or zagorats, which means sunburn or just to tan. Along with the word for her, we derive the following translation. Yio plechi zagoreli. And finally we have, she saw a pimple on his neck. The focus word here is shia, which means neck. Another interesting word, which we need for this translation, is prish, which means pimple. Also, the word zanatits, which means to notice or observe, will come in handy for this translation, which goes like this. Ana zamatila prish naivo shiyi. And now for some bonus sentences. Slova golis evolis pahaji. And slova golis evolis sazbuchni both mean the words for voice and hair are similar. Ana sahavatila yivo zaruku means she grabbed him by the wrist. Although zapyasti means wrist, the word ruka, which means hand or arm, is used here. The wrist is usually referred to when something is being worn on it, such as a watch, a bracelet, or handcuffs, as we see in the final bonus sentence. Naruchniki zashoknulis naivo zapyastiach means the handcuff snapped around his wrist. The focus words for this lesson include nagats means nail, bedro means hip, lokats means elbow, plecho means shoulder, and shia means neck. Ruskiad, signing out now. Dust fit on y'all. You made it to the end of the lesson. And watching Ruski Ed is better than guessing. The more you learn, the more you know. Come back for the next Ruski Ed show.